Hey everybody, it's Gamerongi. We're back with Legend of Mana. Last time, uh, we did the two torches quests over there in Gato Grottos. And it seems like there's a bit of a friend fiasco going on between this long haired dude. Uh, I kind of forgot his name. Oh, Escod or something? Yeah. And uh, Matilda, the old lady that runs the Dreamweaver place there. Uh, and that guy that uh, apparently is leading the fairies now? So, yeah. Bit of a confusing little thing going on there. Anywho, uh, I think there's actually a quest between the one we did and the one in Olken Mines with Pokiel. So, I'm gonna head back to Gato, Gato Grados really quick and see if we can't get that going on. Going on, going on. We gotta go talk to Matilda again. Matilda, Matilda. Every time I hear that name, I think of the movie. That's such a cool movie. <laughs> Little girl with psychic powers? Heck yeah. Doing some stuff. Doing some stuff with psychic powers. It's always cool when the good the good people have like super OP abilities. Even if it does make their life a little crazy. Arabis is calling you. Please go in. Aha. See there? I totally missed this. Hello. I apologize to have called upon you. There's a favor I need to ask you. It's about Dana. She left here saying she needs to talk to Irwin. That's the other guy, Irwin. <laughs> yeah. She hasn't come back since. Could you please find her? Yeah. Thank you so much. I wish you luck. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In search of fairies. I like how all the quests in one... Like, quest line all have the same little intro graphic going on. It's pretty neat. Where did Dana go? Tell me. May the Spirit's blessings be with you. Nobody's gonna tell me where she went? Okay. Well, I think we have to go to Lake Kilma. <laughs> so let's go to Lake Kilma. I wonder if Erwin is just not a bad guy. I mean, Dana thinks that Escod is the bad one. Because he started the fight and then ended up in the underworld. Erwin apparently has, like, demon blood or something, so... I mean, that doesn't mean he's a bad guy. You just look at Lark, he's the scariest guy around, and he turned out okay. Sort of. <laughs> I'm looking for a Dana. Uh, I'll just meet you when I find her. Hello, Mr. Turtle. Do you know how we differ from the fairies? Uh, our appearances? We see the fairies by receiving images in our minds. We do not actually see them with our eyes, we feel them. It's rather hard to explain this. Okay. Can I go down here? Shoot. I think I'm supposed to go down there. Maybe jumping into a circle of fairies will send us to the land of fairies. A lady was here a while ago to ask about that. Dana? Jumping into a circle of fairies. Is this not where I'm supposed to be? Shoot. Oh my gosh, it's Dana. What do you know? Did 
you come all the way here looking for me? Yes, I did. Thanks. But it seems like I gotta go further. Did you get to hear Toad's story? Uh, yes. I guess that turtle is Toad. <laughs> I came here to see Irwin. I guess it was true that he was hiding in the land of fairies. Is it Matilda's powers he wants? Or is it revenge on Escot? Sorry. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Goodbye. Wait! No! Dana, wait! Wait! <laughs> uh, okay. Oh? It's been a long time, hasn't it, Dana? You look all grown up and demonic, Erwin. What are you up to, big guy? You've got all the fairies on your side. Hmm, let's see. What am I capable of doing? Just answer my question. Say it. What are you going to do to Matilda? She's been aging too rapidly since she collapsed in the mines. Escod says it's because you took her elemental powers. You are taking them you're taking away my friends, and I can't do a thing about it. Well, that's too bad. Oh shut up. Give her back the elemental powers you've stolen. Erwin doesn't seem like such a good guy. Go back and tell Matilda. You will see that it was only a dream when everything comes to an end. Is... is he invincible? Uh... oh snap. That's crazy. Okay, uh... No, I won't be able to make it. The circle of fairies. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Oh no. Lord Irwin takes away the shadows that exist in us. He makes eternity begin. I, what? And what in the world? Whoa! It's a rainbow feather wolf! Boreal Hound. Snap. This music's really cool. I really wish I brought a friend to help out. <laughs> it's okay. The stun lock is working. Well, so I thought. Uh oh. Look out, Jack! Whoa, look out, me! Oh my god. That's enough of your antics, Boreal Hound. Don't make me do a thing to you. Yeah, got him. <laughs> oh god, he's doing something. Look out, Jack! I said look out. What do you do? You don't. Come on, stun lock for days. Come on. There we go. So nice. Whew, that was a cool looking boss. I like that one. Oh yeah. XP. XP! Two levels. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of XP. <laughs> well, I guess it's only split between two instead of three, so that helps. Did you find out anything about Dana? She went to the world of the fairies. Yeah. She went to the land of the fairies? Does that mean Erwin is there too? No, I should not ask you anymore. Thank you. I used to see fairies very often myself. But Escad could not, so he used to make faces when I was speaking with them. We were talking about that when he was here just now. He says he can somewhat see them now. Perhaps they still live around here. 
It's nice, Matilda. Oh no. Wh who is that? A little mini king? <laughs> What's going on up there? Matilda. Who might you be? Oh, there he is. This is his feet. We haven't seen each other for quite some time, Matilda. What in the world? Don't you remember me? My name is Selva. Selva of the Four Winds? One of the Wisdoms? Oh snap, a Wisdom. Y yes I used to visit you when you were an infant. And I know you well. And you know about how Erwin took away my elemental powers? Yes I do. When an era is about to end, anything can happen. The era's end? You can foresee the future, sir? What will happen to Erwin and Scott? Future is decided by those who will walk its path. You, Dana, Scott, Erwin, Elazul, Pearl, Lark, Sierra. And Roy? You thought so too. I wanted to hear that. Oh, I cannot say anything about what the Wisdoms have decided. Old Bon the Warrior, Gaius the Earth, Rosioti the Beast, Tote the Tor- Tote is a Wisdom? Oh snap! Tote the Tortoise, Pokiel the Bird, and Selva of the Four Winds. You shall become the seventh member of the Wisdoms. Why choose me? You are the one who will end this era. Yes, my selfishness has caused chaos. I loved Erwin. Please allow me to die this way. It is for the world. Matilda, you are allowed to love anyone you want. People fear to see the shadow they make themselves. But there is no such thing as shadows. You understand, don't you? No. <laughs> All my life I've seen only sh er, I've only seen the shadows. See only the future. The guilt you feel only locks your heart. Open your heart, Matilda. Forgive yourself. The flow of time is about to change its way. People will become free. Wow. That's uh, some pretty heavy stuff there. Wow, look how crazy he looks. What What even is he? He's like a king, but his feet look like zippers or something. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I want to go to Fairy World. Hey, me too. I missed my chance, man. There was a circle of fairies right there. Today's story was about a woman who disappeared when she went to the lake to look for a demon. I say she should have been catching fish instead of any demons. Yeah, that probably would have turned out better. Then again, she did go to the world of the fairies, so... Maybe it's really nice there? I don't know. Uh, okay, so we should be able to do the Pokeal one now. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Uh, please, someone come with me. How you doing, Pearl? You're still warm. Okay, good. Uh, but I found a wisdom, but I didn't get to talk to him directly. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Back to the Olkin Mines we go. <laughs> well, well, Mr. Pokiel, right at the entrance. The Earth teaches us the co of the cosmos and of all its me ancient memories. When the grass sprouts and stones sing, light shines on the earth. The light sparkles on the feathers of the birds of paradise. Break loose from the shackles of time. Know what freedom is. Pokule Dream Teller. Who's there? Oh, whoa! It's young Escar. 
I guess you're not with the demon. I'm looking for Erwin. He's not only... He no, not only has demon's blood in him, his thoughts and actions, everything about him is demonic. I've got to do something about it before it's too late. Eventually, he will bring catastrophe to this world. Matilda, you're such a fool. He tricked you into leaving the temple. Hmm. Okay. Do, do, do. Is Watts in here? Nope. No Watts. Well, this is weird. Some kind of dream world. With moles! Hello, Pokeol again. Are you in a hurry? Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this way. Is that Dana? I, I can't. Is that Matilda? Breathe. Oh, that's not good. I see gas spewing out here. It must be tough for you, Scott. Or for you and Scott. I wonder if the mine entrance is still holding up. Oh no, no, oh. Never mind, that's Erwin. That's Erwin right there. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Let's rest up a little before we go further. Hmm, interesting. Sulfur. Oh yeah. There we go, just some stairs. Okay, I was looking for stairs that went down and I got kind of lost. Okay, sweet. You should feel a little better here. I wonder why Scott hates you so much. Just because you're a demon? What happened? I hope that wasn't the entrance. That was the mine entrance. I guess it was just too old. This was really fun at the beginning. It was the first time I ever left the temple by my own will. But I can't take it anymore. It's frightening me. You're protected by my spirits that also protected your ancestors. Even if I die here, you will survive. I won't become the priestess because priestesses aren't allowed to be friends with demons. I'm not your friend. I just want to eat you up, like all demons do. You're lying. I... I want to go to the underworld. Adults are always telling us what to do. Hmm. I don't like this darkness. Summon your spirit. It will tell us how we can save ourselves. I don't want to go back. You gotta live. If you hate this world so much, I will destroy it. We should have the freedom to use our power in any way we want. Exohos velas akikin. 
Your powers are mine now, spirit. Oh, snap. Matilda! You demon! What did you do to Matilda? I guess you've regained consciousness, Roy. That was crazy. <laughs> so... Was Erwin, like, trying to help her be free of her responsibilities by taking her powers? Huh. Whose side are you on? Are you with me, fighting for justice? Or with Dana, aiding demons and making mankind your enemy? Uh, this is an important decision. I think this changes what happens later. Um, and also right now. <laughs> Hmm. Well. I, I kind of like Dana. Erwin seems a little rough around the edges, but... I think he's trying to help. Even though Matilda's aging insanely now. They seem to be good friends at the time. Hmm. I think Eskod just really hates demons for some reason. <laughs> I'm just gonna side with Dana. So be it. Accept the path you have chosen. Oh boy, here we go. He's got a sword just like me. Except he's way cooler. What's he doing? What's he doing, yo? Woo! Stop him! Jack, turn him into a snowman, quick! Don't just stand there, Jack. Do something! Hurry! He's stabbing me. Uh oh, woo, woo, woo. avoid. Eat spiral. Wave. There he goes. Whoa, with the jump attacks, man. Calm down. Oh, it's starting to hurt me. Bam. We win. And quick, make sure he doesn't die. Poke your dream teller. Wow, look at Matilda back then. She had a crazy outfit. It's got like tree roots on it and everything. <laughs> twirly twirly music box. That was one crazy music box. Let's have some like hallucinogenic gas in there or something. My master went to a place that might have been a dream. What does that mean? Maybe I can sneak in there when nobody's watching. Don't sneak into dreams, man. I'm gonna throw people off. And they'll have a, a bad day at work the next day. I, I dreamed of a cactus all night! It was horrible! He's a nice cactus, though. So maybe it won't be so bad. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I guess I'll end it there. I think there's one more quest now that we can do. Uh, or, the, yeah, at the end of that, that's gonna, well, maybe, I don't know if that even that's, if that's the end or not, but I think the next quest is actually gonna give us another artifact, which is delicious. Uh, and that's pretty much been my goal this whole time. So, <laughs> we'll see whatever that is, and hopefully Escod is alive and I didn't just kill him right there. Ah, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.